Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an Easter tour of my house. It's uh, getting around to Easter time, so I thought I, said, just thought I should do a decoration tour. So first when you walk in, like right here, right there, you see the shoe over the door. Uh, there's more on the door, I'll show you later, but um, here's this little thingy that says, just says Happy Easter. I threw the eggs on here. Pretty cool. We don't have a lot of Easter stuff, so we'll have to do what we all have. We used to have a bunch of stuff for outside, but it was like blow mold Easter egg, but they all broke. So here we have the um little Easter ornament that's hanging on this thing. It's pretty cool. Let's go down, we got these two Easter rabbits. It says happy Easter. That's a wooden thing. Uh, it's from Big Lots. I don't remember what year. Then we have these three ceramic bunnies. Uh, they're from CVS in 2018. Unfortunately, um, when we decided to pack them up one year, um, we didn't put them like plastic, or not plastic, but glass stuff like this in its own box. We just put like a couple like wraps of uh, paper bags on it, but. Unfortunately, one of his ears didn't survive, so. And here we have this bell. My granny used to collect bells like these. And there's the bell noise. We have a bunch for um, Christmas. There's, I think they were called Avon, the company. No, I'm, no. Uh, that, that company, my mom says they're pretty expensive. My grandma got it for us. A long time ago, that one and this one, that's not a bill, that's just like a little thingy like that. Pretty neat. Uh, it's the same company as that, so yeah. You look over here at the piano room, we have these four Easter bunnies little on each side, or two on each side, four in total. Uh, our aunt gave us those and we built them. Then we have this uh, dog. I don't know what company he's from or where we got him. Half of this Easter stuff I don't remember at all, but, <laughs> but I don't remember him, but I'll show you what he does. Doesn't really stand up very good, but. So if you could tell what he was saying, he was just like doing the barking dog noise uh, to the Here Comes Peter Cottontail. Next we look over here, we have one of my favorite um, uh, Easter, um, Easter decorations at all. My Nana used to have one at her house and I used to play with it all the time. But my grandma got me one one year and it's the egg laying hen from 2013. Still has his tag. It's very, very cool. I, I, I like it a, a lot. <clears throat> I'll show what he does now. Mama Hen, back again. Squawking, walking, let's begin. I'm about to show you how it's done. Laying eggs, it's so much fun. Squawk, there it is. There's an egg over here. Yeah, and to put the eggs in, it's just right behind his neck right there. And they go in there. All three of them. Um, Hallmark did release another version of it. I forgot what song it sings, but it, it does the same mechanism for Easter. Um, also, at Big Lots uh, this year, there's an egg laying a dinosaur. Which uh, I like. And yeah, I got... Um... He's from this year, 2024, of course. Jimmy. 
Um, 20 bucks. Yeah, the gods. Egg drop dinosaur. Show he does. His button's kind of messed up. So you had to put the things away in him. There's just a little flap right here. Put them. His eggs are less uh, glossier than uh, the chickens. His eggs are like more rough and rigid. So yeah. That was kind of like the only one this year that really caught my attention that I really liked. Pretty much just because it had the same mechanism as that one. This one's another one I don't know anything about at all. I don't know where I got it. I don't know what it, what it came from. Um, this, it might be like a cuddleborn because of this uh, thing. It looks real familiar. But I don't know if I got it from. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, it's not cuddleborn, but it's like it says goom buffer. There. That's all I know about it, Goompafo International. I don't know where I got it, when I got it. But yeah, he sometimes glitches and doesn't play it the first time. Oh, he didn't. His ears are supposed to go like that. But they don't. Walk out the piano room to the little bar, and we have these little Easter things. I've always had them as little. I always remember them. You just hold Easter eggs in them. This one's a right Easter rabbit, but it's like that material. This one's a bit more prettier, more um, detailed. God, it's just a rabbit tree house. Um, I've always had this. Always nostalgic for me. When I broke it down every year. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't sing. It just, you know, it's that material. Like, uh, not really glass. I don't know what to call it. But very cool. Then uh, moving into the living room. By the TV, we have a bunch of other items. We have Winnie the Pooh right here. Show them. Uh, Yeah, but that, that, this one's my brother's. Um, he's he's had it for a long time as well. It's one of his favorites. Um, we got this egg, uh, not egg, but a ball popping uh, rabbit. He shoots balls. Sometimes it doesn't work, but my brother got this at the dentist. He already lost one, but we found it. The dog got it, but. It's not one to pop out. Let me find a better ball. This one's been in there for a while on it. It's not working, but you get the picture. Just the ball pops out and goes somewhere. Nothing fancy. Um, next we have, this is one of my favorites just because how simple it is. Uh, it's from Easter's. Oh, yeah, that one's from Hallmark, I forgot to say. don't know what year, probably 15 or 14. No, this one's from 
Yes, there's unlimited ink. I don't remember what where I got them from or what year. I think this was my grandma and grandpa's because I had a bunch of these little things where you beat on the table and they would make noise. I forgot what they were called. I know Jubilee Videos had some videos of it on his channel. I just can't remember the name. But yeah, I'll just show you what he does. Very simple. That's really all it does. It has the same batteries in it. There's irreplaceable batteries. You can't replace the batteries. But it's always worked. Pretty simple. And then next we have a <coughs> Beyblade type thing. <coughs> if, <coughs> if anyone remembers Beyblades or even know what they were. I used to love them when I was a little. It just spins like that. It's supposed to light up in the in the middle, but the mechanism's far broke now because I've been so rough with it. Pretty sure this is actually from one of my bait blades, this pulling thing. I don't think it's original, that's why it doesn't spin like if I don't remember where I got it or where I got it. I've always just kind of had it. I probably tried uh beating it with my bay blades when I was little. But um yeah. Another one of my brothers is a spinning turtle dude. Um he comes with the book. But my brother's always had this in my his room. My brother's always had this in his room for like until we moved but he doesn't work hundred percent his motors are kinda locked up. Egg eggs they're hiding hiding go ahead go find them find If you don't know what he's supposed to do, you should look up a video. He moves a lot better. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've looked up videos and he moves a lot faster. He's also from Hallmark. Um, here we have an Easter uh, Bunny Marching Band. They have a whole series of these, I believe. I... Uh, they're from 2018, Big Lots, Jimmy. I never really liked this one. I don't know why we got it. It was probably on sale. <laughs> I discounted about the big lots. It had its original demo batteries from when it was in stores and that which corroded, but that sucks. This is my dad's um, when he was younger. Yeah. That little, uh, um, yeah, that little dude. And um, a little Snoopy snow globe. And uh, these, I've had a bunch. This is, I had a bunch of chickens that did this. And I, I guess these were another things I used to collect because every time we'd go to sto Toys R Us, I would get one. They'd always have the very simple movements, but very cool. Struggling now because his. All, uh, all gone, but um, yeah, another very cool one. And uh, there's another Hallmark, uh, a bunch of Hallmarks, a Macarena Bunny. Hey, do you want a Yeah, so, and now I'll show you all my hopping chickens. They're in the guest bathroom right now. I'm not hopping, yeah. Hopping little chicks. I had so many of these. I lost a lot of love them. They're in the guest bathroom here. And, uh, these are like old ones, I believe. Real old ones, but they should all still work. I used to set them up all at the same time and make them go. 
Yeah, he's the one that's... I was in Target the other day with my friend, and they were they had some of these out, and none of them worked. Not one worked. My dog goes on really well. Make sure all these jumpings out. Next, we have this little different uh, skin one. He's kind of worse, but you gotta like help him out a little. And his mechanism is kind of breaking. He, he just does the same thing as that one. And this is just like a little back point. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um, now, uh, we, I also have uh, the mantle. There's this happy Easter dog. Uh, two of these the little Easter's like we have what we have for like uh, Halloween with the two scarecrows, those two guys, and Reese's uh, pieces like uh, not, I'm not sure if it's Reese's pieces, but oh uh, bear. And we have a dandy chicken, but I guess his speaker blew our wires off because it doesn't sing; it just moves. Which I think is pretty funny. Yeah, the happy Easter sign right here. Little rabbit dude. Go over here. And that's from Valentine's. I don't know why that was still out. But this is the Easter that was on the big door at front. Easter Jingle Bell sign. So yeah. And that was all of it. So thank you guys for watching my 2024 Easter review of my house. Uh, thanks for watching. Come like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.